override the governor and increase your taxes. Today, Governor Brownback had some strong words for those lawmakers. It's about the future of this state. It's about which way we want to go. Do we want to be a high tax, slow growth, or no growth state, or pro growth state? So I think we've taken a, a, a big step backwards. A $1.2 billion tax hike will now go into effect. One thing that is still up in the air is the school budget. 41 Action News reporter Lisa Benson talked with some local school districts about their biggest challenges. School leaders in the state of Kansas are being advised not to make any financial decisions about the upcoming school year because Governor Sam Brownback has yet to make a decision about Senate Bill 19. And next week's pretty much out of the question. Staff working at the KCK School District headquarters know they could face a shutdown. Technically, we'll have no authority to spend money on behalf of schools. David Smith is the district's spokesperson and its lobbyist. I saw Republicans and Democrats hugging that I'm guessing never had hugged before. Overnight, the Senate and the House overrode the governor's veto of the tax bill, making it law. But Governor Brownback has yet to act on the school finance legislation. It was approved by the House and Senate on Monday. It's not perfect, and sometimes perfect can be the enemy of the good. We need to get something that at least gets us going in the right direction. In March, the Kansas Supreme Court ruled that Kansas' school funding formula was inadequate and unconstitutional because it did not distribute funds fairly among wealthier and poorer districts. The courts Next gave lawmakers until June 30th to implement a new plan. But until a new formula is approved, the Kansas National Education Association is telling districts to freeze spending. Essentially, our advice to them is to work on um, issues that do not involve uh, money because we really don't know what schools are going to have in the next year until all of this is resolved. Advice that pertains to all 286 districts in the state. KCK shortened its summer school program to ensure that students get their credits before the deadline. There's a plan, but the court hasn't seen it yet. So are we going to meet the deadline? And if we don't meet that deadline, and how is the court going to respond? The governor has 10 days to sign or veto the bill after it hits his desk. If he does nothing, it becomes law. Lisa Benson, 41 Action News. We broke down what this tax hike could mean for you. Income tax rates will increase this year, then again in 2018. So this year, if you make between zero and $30,000 a year, you'll see a 0.2% increase. If you make between thirty dollars and $60,000, you'll see a 0.3% increase. And if you make more than $60,000, it is a 0.6% increase. By the way, the new law also ends an exemption for 330,000 farmers and business owners.